This is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a BotCon 2012 video review of Gigatron, aka Overlord. And there's some interesting story about this guy. You know, sometimes I think I like the story a little bit better than the review itself, but you know, minor details. Um, so this is the tank portion. Uh, the original Overlord was two pieces. There was a tank and there was like a jet plane type thing and they combined to form the robot mode. So they each didn't have an individual robot mode but um, it was a double power master or actually whatever they called it in Japan but um, was created from Giga and Mega and they were two characters in the show humans or beyond humans or whatever you want to call it. But um, anyway so, uh, Giga, the male of the two, dro piloted the tank, and Mega piloted the jet, and for somehow they were able to work together perfectly in perfect sync in uh, combined mode, which is kind of weird, but anyway, point being, uh, so... Overlord has made its way into the U.S. comics recently, so that's nice. Um, and the robot mode of this really, really mimics the look Giga, the human character, had in the show. Um, so it was it's pretty interesting, and I'll get into that a little bit more in robot mode. But for now, we'll take a look at the vehicle mode. And honestly, it's pretty nice. It has two regular purple Decepticon logos, so it's from the Classics verse, um, or whatever they want you want to call it. They refer it as Classic verse. Some people refer to it as Gen G3 Generation 3. Um, realistically, I don't care. Uh, he's got missile pods up here. You know, same as Bludgeon. He's made from the Bludgeon uh, Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon mold. Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah, Revenge of the Fallen. Um, so, the tank itself is painted up exactly like the tank was originally. The purple barrel, the blue body, and the white turret. And, uh, just like on Bludgeon, this turret can move all the way around. It's on a ratchet joint. Um, the actual tank is modeled after a... <coughs> excuse me is modeled after a Japanese tank, which uh, is why, you know, it was bludgeon, Jap Japan, you know, swords. Yeah, it worked out really well because it was samurai style. Um, so, this is nice. Uh, this gun up top also rotates, although I have a constant problem of this drooping down, and it's not because of anything pressing on it. It's just when it gets warm, like it's obscene temperatures around here, so as soon as this gets above a certain temperature, this gun, because it's that rubbery plastic, starts drooping down. Um, these guns here on the side, are the missile pods are made of the same material as is this. Well, this is a little bit harder. And the um, bit barrel up front is also the same. What is nice, though, is the bottom. So, you got the treads that look like really nice treads. You got the rubberiness here and here. But they don't move. There are still wheels down here. Um, these are not, these are painted, but realistically, if you have it sitting like this, you're not going to notice it's painted because the edges are painted to match the rubber, which is nice. And he's got the two tone wheels just because of the mold. And I think it, it does not detract from it at all. I think it works well. Um, so, yep, it's nice. I like it. This is one of the ones I ended up really enjoying out of the set. A lot of people complained. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I think it's a great homage to the Giga character and Overlord. And the fact is, they can't use the name Overlord, copyright issues. So. Gigatron really, really worked well because it's 
designed after Giga. Or, that's the homage. And I think that worked really well for him. So, um, one last thing I'm going to show you before I get in robot mode is the sword stores in the barrel. Yeah, long sword or the regular sword or whatever. And then the smaller sword stores here, or the dagger, really. It's kind of small to be called a small sword. Even. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get it in robot mode, and, yep, we'll talk about it some more. And here he is in robot mode. And he's been in tank mode for a while, so these rubber things kind of want to follow the same path they've been in. But, um, just kind of like playing around with them it, and letting them hang around on the arms here. They will uh, take the shape of hanging down, rather. So, uh, that's just kind of a time thing. Uh, he does have some built-in sword sheaths here on the side. I don't particularly love them, the sheaths that is, so yeah, um, don't, not a fan of those. Um, though, he is pretty awesome, he's got some swords, which Mega, or not Mega, sorry, Giga, the uh, human character, carried around a sword on his belt, but never actually pulled it out. It looked more like a broadsword than a, a samurai sword, though. But, uh, minor details. Um, so he looked more Chinese than Japanese to me, but, you know, it's a Japanese show, so whatever. Um, so it's a good homage to it, because it de definitely has similar armor that, uh, Giga had. So, Gigatron here. It's pretty nifty, although they refer to him as Overlord in the comic book, so that's nice. So he is Overlord, obviously, but due to the color scheme. But it's nice that they came up with a nice homage to a forum too. So he ends up with a Decepticon logo here, and I'm not actually sure what happens to the other Decepticon symbol. No, it's here on a shoulder. Um. <laughs> You can have the uh, tank, back of the tank, hanging off anywhere. I prefer to go it sideways because it doesn't show up nearly as much. And I have no idea why I'm having such a hard time getting this guy to stand. My bludgeon does not have that hard time to stand. Well, anyway. Um, so it's nice. The pur I could do without the purple blades, though. I mean, they're okay. And it's nice because... Um, I ended up giving a sword to Metal Hawk, so these guys can actually cross swords like they did in the comic book. So it's kind of cool. Um, that though is nifty, but they did create a whole new head sculpt, and I honestly think it looks a lot like Overlord. I mean, I haven't heard too many complaints about this, just overall the figure. I say this is a good job. Now I'd like to see an Overlord done at next year's BotCon out of a jet. And I want to see them try that, just for fun. And call it Megatron or something. Well, we can't call it Megatron because Megatron is a character. But yeah, I should stop doing these when I'm tired. Anyway. Uh, as far as articulation goes, he's got uh, movement here in the foot. He's kind of got a joint and a hinge swivel here which moves part of his leg joint then he's got a joint here it's kind of tough but it's there he's got a joint here gets the armor gets away a little bit but whatever he's got a joint here and it's also really tight uh, i think both of those are ratchet joints no waist swivel uh, he's got a joint here as well as here a uh, double jointed elbow as well as a swivel built in there. His hands do not have swivels, but they can bend in a little bit if you want to do that. Don't know why you would, but you can. Uh, his armor moves a little bit. Not too horribly much, but it's there. Um, this moves if you want to give him a different look. You know, 
throw that up. I don't care. Um, also, the storage for the smaller sword right here. So if you don't want to use these, you can still store the what? You can store the uh, sword in here. You can have it sticking outside, and the smaller sword in there still. Um, the I like how they ended up painting up the chest, although it's it does not scream bludgeon to me. So I'm just gonna pull bludgeon on the screen here. Uh, I had bludgeon's long sword hanging around somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's the same color as the short sword. Okay, let's not do that. Sorry about that. Well, overall, I really like the two comparison here for the comparison. You know, Decepticon logo is in the same spot, but uh, it's nice. Love this guy. Worth every penny. Um, recommend getting. This guy is pretty awesome too. Although I have an issue with his knee popping off all the time. But that's for a different review. So that concludes my video review of Transformers BotCon 2012 Gigatron, a.k.a. Overlord. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.